Well, I just went out and caught me a bag full of copperheads, and I was going to show you guys these. So check this out. Just kidding. It's a bag of nothing. And don't ever do anything like that. But on a serious note, uh, let's talk about copperheads a little bit. And I got home uh, last night and there was a decent sized copperhead right here in my driveway. So I captured it and uh, I'm about to take it off into the woods away from my house and release it back into the wild. And before I do that, um, thought it'd be a good time to take some time to take a look at it and talk about this uh, beautiful reptile for a little bit. So stay tuned. All right, now this is the copperhead that was right beside that pile of rocks last night when I got home. And uh, I caught him and put him in a box and I'm gonna relocate him back to the woods here in a little bit where he can go on about his business of catching mice which these guys are excellent mouse getters or mouse killers however you want to say it now this is the most common pit viper here in oklahoma this is a gistrodon contortrix he's looking at me now like he's like you know i really ought to bite you for messing with me and I promise you, if I got close enough, he would bite me. Now, their venom is a hemotoxin, and the copperhead has the mildest hemotoxin uh, venom of any pit viper in Oklahoma. Uh, their closest relative is the cotton mouth, and the cotton mouth's venom packs uh, quite a bit bigger punch than a copperhead. You sure don't want to get bit by one of those. And the rattlesnake is uh, more is the most potent, especially the uh, timber rattler and the uh, western diamondback which in my area right here in southeast oklahoma the most common um, big rattler is the timber rattler and you sure don't want to get a hit by one of those now the copperhead even though it has the mildest venom of the uh, uh, pit vipers here in oklahoma they also bite more people than any other venomous snake in oklahoma the reason why is they, one, they don't give any uh, warning. A cotton mouth, they'll open up that mouth, show you their uh, mouth and, and say, you know, like say, get back. Where um, rattlesnakes, obviously they rattle, tell you to get back. And the copperhead, they just be still and rely on their camouflage. And when somebody inadvertently steps on them or reaches their hand down close to them or or uh, whatever may be the case, they get bit. Um, they're not an aggressive snake, but they are defensive and they will certainly bite um, if given the chance. Now, uh, like I said, their venom's a hematoxin, breaks down the blood, blood cells and such. Um, some people uh, are, do not, most people do not require antivenom when they get bit by a copperhead, but some do. And that's a cost of antivenom in the United States. That's another uh, discussion in itself. Um, there's an article I'll put a link to on this called, uh, how does a $14 uh, dose of antivenom cost $14,000 in the United States? And to me, that's a crime because if you go over the border into Mexico, that same dose of antivenom it costs $14,000 here, and depending on how many vials, the uh, treatment for the snake bite can run into the tens of thousands, even into 100,000. But down in Mexico, the same antivenom by the same manufacturer is $100 to $200 a dose, where in the United States, it's gonna start at 14,000 and go up, depending on the hospital. Uh, Canada, same thing. Uh, it's only a few hundred dollars for that. So don't get bit in the United States because you will be bankrupted for it. So anyway, another thing. So let's, oh, he's headed for those rocks. He wants to get in there and hide from me. And I don't want him hiding in there. I want to take him back out in the woods where he won't be, you know, getting under my feet at night. So look at that pose right there. 
Say hello, Mr. Copperhead. But notice those Hershey Kiss style uh, patterns on his side and that copper colored head. And notice the eyes on the Copperhead. The, vi the pit vipers have that elliptical cat pupil, like cat eyes, where the non-venomous snakes that people may sometimes mistake for a copperhead and stuff, they have a round pupil, okay? Some of the snakes that people um, mistake for a copperhead, there's one, the prairie king snake, has a pattern that to the untrained eye may resemble a copperhead. I've got a friend that's just terribly... Uh, terribly afraid of snakes. He said in his mind there's only two kinds of snakes in the world and that is uh, rattlesnakes and cobras. So you'd be surprised how many uh, people think that way. Uh, there in my hometown um, the police department has had me a time or two come and remove, uh, remove snakes from, from people's homes and every report it was a rattlesnake. And 99% of those reports I went and I removed a black rat snake. One time I removed a brown earth snake, another it was a ring neck snake, but there are people reporting them as always a rattlesnake. So, um, you know, it pays to know what your snakes are because a lot of people kill uh, harmless and very beneficial snakes. Even the copperhead, even though it's venomous uh, to our environment, it is a very beneficial snake. It helps control uh, the population of mice, uh, which carry a lot of diseases, which, I mean, if you could do the math and all mice have killed more people with their diseases than uh, snake bites ever do, and the number of people that ever died from a copperhead bite is very small, and a lot of them were other circumstances uh, to go along with it. So, anyway, if you see his belly there, I don't want you crawling up in my lap. There's a good uh, view of them. Usually you can see them crossing the road just kind of meandering like that. But they can go fast when they so are inclined. And as you can see, we're talking about aggressive snakes. I had a person tell me today how aggressive the copperhead is. He is within a foot of my camera and he has no interest in uh, coming to bite me. Now, that being said, if I get my hand near his head, he will bite me. That's their nature. That's their uh, defense. So what would he rather do? He would rather me just get out of here and leave him alone so he can go about his business. And I'm going to. He doesn't know I'm here to help him. So if I let y'all heard the vehicles driving by, if I let him go here, very good chance he makes it out in the road and somebody runs over him. So... I'm actually gonna help him or her, whichever may be the case. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just filming now to let y'all see this. I mean, this is just one of the most beautiful snakes in the state and uh, very common to the, uh, to the Eastern United States, Central and Eastern United States. You see him breathing right there. Like I say, I'm, uh, because of the shape of the tail and stuff, I'm guessing that this is probably a male uh, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not a male, but a female. Um, and I could be wrong, but I've got a very good record of uh, guessing the sex of snakes. And uh, to, to really um, sex a snake properly, you get probes and you, uh, a snake's sex organs called hemipenes on a, on a male. And beside their uh, vent, you insert that probe if it goes down a certain certain length a distance it's a it's a male because they're inverted but anyway you definitely want a tube to put the front part of the snake in when it's a venomous snake like the copperhead here otherwise it's a good way to get bit in fact i was uh, reading today about one guy got bit while he was trying to sex a copperhead and i'm like going, oh my goodness you know you start doing that you want to make real sure where the, the sharp end of the snake is and that's what i always jokingly tell people don't kill these uh, beneficial, uh, beautiful animals. Just leave them alone and by all means stay away from the sharp end. And that right there is the sharp end. <laughs> you know. Uh, so, do I ever handle them? Well, I have. Uh, it's not necessary right now, so I'm, I'm not. Um, let's see, what else? 
think that's about all I can tell you other than taking this this footage of him so I am now gonna put put this little guy in the box and I'm gonna take him to the woods and I'm going to uh, turn him loose at a place where he's not gonna get ran over well I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it informative if you have and would like to see some more just like it then please like share and subscribe until next time, you guys take care, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.